Hello and welcome back my beautiful Froggy army to another video. I have finally finished my museum which I've been putting off for a very long time I'll be honest but it did not come without some struggle and pain. This past Monday I was working on it on a live stream and I was just absolutely struggling. Uh I don't know what to do. Okay focus Raven. Whatever put this stupid thing down. Actually no. Actually yes. Actually no. Actually yes. I actually didn't even finish it on that live stream. That's how bad the struggle was. So in today's video, you'll see the highlights from said stream and then I ended up having to just finish it off on my own in the rest of the video. So you'll see that footage as well. So I hope that you enjoy it. And thankfully, I do have a very cute and relaxing mobile game to play to ease some of the stress that this build has caused me. Created by the same designer from The Sims 3 and 4, I have been having a ton of fun playing Midas Merge, a merge 3 game where you can combine creatures and treasures to restore a beautiful garden. They're also sponsoring our video today, so thank you besties! There's quite a bit of lore in this game. This baddie is Nyx. She is the goddess of night and she decided to cast shadows over our beautiful gardens. What the heck? Maybe she was too stressed about building her museum. I mean, girl, I relate. So now we're on a mission to hatch new adorable creatures, feed them, and merge them to level them up and get rid of all this pesky darkness. These are also some of the cutest creatures I've ever seen. I want to introduce you to Lily 2.0, my current fave. She's this adorable purple crystal deer and she started off as this little baby fawn and now she has upgraded into this stunning new form and you know how i am about collecting cute things so i can't wait to see what other creatures are out there i really enjoy the merging gameplay with the really cute and atmospheric graphics but another thing i really love is that midas merge is completely free with no ads i genuinely have so much fun anytime i open this game i just get sucked in like sometimes i'm playing when i'm actually supposed to be working <laughs> whoops if you want to try out midas merge for yourself and start collecting your own cute creatures, you can download it using my QR code on the screen or via the link below. Thank you Midas Merge for sponsoring our video today and now let's get into this museum. So today we're going to work on the museum. I need to get the museum out of the way because it's currently sitting in the spot where I want to put Disney World right in the middle there. So we need to get it out of the way. We have this little incline here that comes off of the main road. So I thought that the museum could go up here. I already marked out where I kind of want to put it. And I decided to do a little bit of cliffscaping. I kind of like separated it and that chunk of cliff, cliff up top, I'm going to get rid of that. Anyways, we're just going to have all of this right here. This will be the museum. The reason it's going to be space themed is because there is the Kennedy Space Center in Florida where they do like rocket launches and stuff like that. So I thought that would be really cool to incorporate for Florida Island. We're gonna move Sally's house. That needs to get out of the way. We're gonna clean all of this up. And since there's the little peninsula right here, I thought it would be really cute to have like the space launch, rocket launch area right here on the peninsula. So that's kind of the plan. We'll have an incline going down here, all that good stuff. So first of all, Sally's house needs to get out of the way. Honestly, I'm kind of panicking because I feel like I have no room for houses. Like I look at my map and I'm like, where am I gonna put everyone? I'm just gonna move Sally here for now. And again, if we don't like it, we can always move it later. It doesn't matter. Okay, what am I doing? Incline, incline. You know what, let's start with the natural ramp because I still needed to do an incline for the lookout area. This is not gonna be centered, that's so annoying. Oh my God, can I put it on the edge at least? I could do two maybe. Do I waste two inclines? I think I'm just gonna do all the way on the edge because whatever we've got an incline down we move the house we time travel okay let me just work on these cliffs now i'm just gonna fix it up just a tiny bit all right let's go ahead and move the museum marked it all out i don't know if this is a good spot honestly i'm just kind of winging it okay peach is like actually bothering me to get in why are you yelling the stream tax the stream tax peachy must pay the stream tax she's yelling in front of mommy's door so she must pay the stream tax <laughs> you're a good girl you just scream a lot. I did grab two custom designs for this build. I'm really trying to keep it minimal because for Disney World, I, I just know we're gonna need so many things. So I grabbed this little like NASA info panel and I grabbed a logo. We need to start putting stuff down. It's It's been 40 minutes. Okay. Museum. By the way, I literally just noticed, has anyone else noticed this, that there's this little design on the banners? I don't think I've ever seen that until this very day. This is the Kennedy Space Center. That's in Florida, right? Proof, there's palm trees. So it's kind of like this really big, like rectangle of a building, like very boring. I wanted to try to have some sort of elements 
kind of like that. So I was thinking the wide display stands and we could put the NASA logo in the back. And then I got these space helmets and we could like put these here on display. What can we put in front of this to cover like the, the side? Or maybe we could just do bookshelves instead. I, I hate that it's two different shades of white. Just enough of a noticeable difference that it slightly bothers me. Okay, I think the bookshelves are the move. That's the move. Let's just quickly go customize this stuff. Put NASA in the back. NASA in the back. Oh yeah, that looks much better. Guys, almost an hour. This is what we have done. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us. Okay, I think I want some trees next, but this is looking good. Where can I steal from? I wanna commit theft. Where can we do that? Let's do the little path to where the incline is gonna be. I believe that is a good next step. This is a space shuttle. Why is it so small? Oh my god. Okay. I got these simple panels with the NASA design on it. I don't know why I said it like that. NASA. Maybe I could go here. Cover this seam a little bit. Uh, I don't know what to do. Okay. Focus, Raven. If I just did one pathetic little piece of path and we put the street lamp with banners, does that look good? Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I have like no custom designs that I've put here. I don't even know what to put. I thought it'd be really funny to put a flying saucer back here <laughs> for um, all of the aliens that they bring back with them in their space travels. You know what I mean? It's coming together. It's coming together. <laughs> Let me just throw a few custom designs back here just to make it look a little less empty and boring. Why is that the second person I've seen say to put a dead body by the ufo i am not gonna commit crimes on this island okay what about this that's cute i don't know i'm struggling i'm struggling a lot right now i'm gonna put a frog here for happiness oh my god okay this is actually driving me nuts i'm gonna time travel so that the bridge is not in my way anymore or the incline because that's just not helping okay let me see if i have any other items that spark some motivation any of these any of these maybe some fencing oh that might help that might help okay fencing yeah 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 speak to me inventory speak to me let's pull up the picture again what else is in here trees oh cars oh oh could we do like a parking lot how do we do this i could either get a custom design of a parking lot space or i just use my road kind of down to try the road at this point, I just need to try stuff and like make progress here. These are going to be the parking spaces, okay? All right, this is our parking lot. I don't want to hear it. Like, listen, I know it's not good. Okay, scooter. Mm, this is not going to fit. It just barely fits. It's on top of the line. Where's that fully crewed spaceship? Yeah, what if we just do this? You know what? I actually think I like that. And I have two of these to use. Okay, new plan. Pull the satellite forward more. Okay this hmm you know looking at everything right now i don't like everything being in one line like that like street lamp and then the evergreen ash and then the satellite i don't really like that or is it fine and i'm just being picky maybe okay we pick this up we do the spaceship whatever put this stupid thing down actually no actually yes actually no actually yes astronaut suit and then you guessed it the street lamp we pick up the street lamp <laughs> we pull this over <laughs> and then we put the street lamp question is that better or is that worse okay better better okay that's all i need to hear the small frog is chilling next to the astronaut yeah he's gonna go to space does it make sense to just continue uh, the stone path just so it's even okay so we have this tiny little square right here we honestly done if you put a rope fence around the lander it would seem like an exhibit leah this is why this is why you're here there we go there we go that was great that was a great touch yes perfect perfect i could put gyroids in the in here do i have any alien looking ones let's just see i feel like these are kind of kind of giving alien a little bit sure we'll do gyroids they're silly they're goofy love it okay i think i'm gonna stop there we finished a good chunk okay 
After that, I was pretty mentally drained, so I decided to pick this up another day. So here's how everything was looking. This is what we're starting off on, basically what you already saw in those highlights. So hey, hi, I'm gonna guide you through the rest of this because yeah, we had to finish it off on a different day, like I said. So I started off by moving this parking lot down to this other like little section below this fencing i had the parking lot up top as you can see there how it was already but i wanted to move it because i don't know it just felt weird being so close to the museum and i wanted to include a cafe like a lot of viewers on the stream were suggesting that i include so i thought if it's like cafe below the parking lot that's kind of weird so i was like you know what i'll just move the parking lot it'll be fine even though it fit perfectly in that little rectangle that it was in but it's fine so i just moved everything and basically what I was struggling with a lot in the stream highlights that I kind of cut out a lot of was just like the item placement. There are so many like space items that I wanted to include and a lot of them are like really big or awkwardly sized and stuff like that. So it was just a struggle to like include stuff because the sides of the museum, like that space that I had to work with was so small. Like I guess I could have just expanded it, but I don't know. I'm trying to keep the cliffs on this island pretty small. So anyways, like I said, we're doing a little cafe right here one person had an amazing suggestion to drop some of like the brown paper bags and that could be like our dried like freeze-dried space food which i thought was really smart so i decided to include that really the cafe is not anything too special it's just like some bistro tables and a counter <laughs> but we're gonna pretend okay and i also you know tried to make everything look cohesive making everything kind of blue some shades of blue don't really match but i think it's the thought that counts you know so i also was trying to fix up this left side here i had put a moon on the right side but it didn't fit on the left because they were differently shaped cliffs so i know if i did a little tree glitch i could make it fit so that's what i went ahead and did thank goodness the tree glitch is still in this game like i genuinely do not know what i would do without it i need to do it a little more often than i do currently um, i just get kind of lazy because it's like so many extra steps but i need to do it more honestly so that's what we were pretty much doing here i'm glad that i was still able to fit in the moon because it does look really cute i i really like like how that looks and that's one of the more celestial items that i decided to include in this build everything else was kind of like spacey type of stuff but you know some celestial stuff and the ufo obviously has to be included Duh. so here i am on the peninsula um i think i mentioned it in the beginning of this video but i wanted to make this like the little rocket launch area like where they actually like physically do the rocket launches so that's what i wanted to do on the peninsula i thought it was really smart because i think they usually do them by the water correct me if i'm wrong i don't know that much about space or rocket launches so i'm just kind of winging it here but i definitely wanted to have some kind of like flooring or something on the ground i didn't want it to just be grass so i wanted to do the in-game pathing like the stone path but like i figured if i did this road design that i already have like the squares would just be larger because the in-game pathing is like smaller you know what i mean you you get it you get it so it is a peninsula which means there's a lot of little edges you know of the grass around everywhere so it's kind of like a tricky area area to put down custom paths and stuff like that it looks a little awkward right now does it still look awkward later maybe just a teensy bit but we make it look a little bit better i promise <laughs> so just stick with me um also since it's the peninsula not that many trees can fit here so i tried to fit them where i could i think i literally only ended up putting one or two but again with more blue i got the fencing and stuff like that which i was gonna include by the actual museum but i like forgot to do that i don't know what happened there <laughs> there was a lot going on in that stream honestly i was severely struggling and i think when i build on stream um usually if i start to get a little bit flustered or feel like oh i'm not like decorating fast enough i'll get even more flustered and just feel like okay like th this is too much pressure right now <laughs> it has been a long time since i've built on stream also because we've mainly been doing the lily hunts which are now over thank god check out that highlight video if you haven't already but yeah i think i just need to get back into my groove of like building on streams or maybe choose smaller builds or have more of a plan in mind because with the museum i didn't really have a plan i just kind of had a general vibe i was like i know that i wanted to make it kind of like the kennedy space center type of thing you know and that that was really it i grabbed a bunch of items and i was like i'll figure it out once i start building <laughs> which i mean is usually how i do things but maybe with a smaller build that works better you know what i mean but anyways we're making some progress here um another great idea that somebody had on stream was to use one of the used fireworks fountain thingies as like a little extinguished 
rocket thing, whatever you'll want it to be. So I included that and uh, included a few more of those celestial items over here, like the asteroid and a few Nova lights. Cause I was like, I need to sneak in some Nova lights here. I love Nova lights and star clocks and star fragments from my fairy core days. They are just so good and so iconic. So I wanted to sneak some in and I started to do this little like lookout area right here on the beach. This is going to be like the little viewing area for all the people who want to come and watch the rocket launch. So I started putting that down and I end up picking all of this back up in just a second because I was like, you know what? I kind of want some custom designs underneath of it. And this is just a lesson to me that I just need to do the custom designs first. Like I usually do that. Actually, no, I don't. No, I don't. I'm going to call myself out. No, I don't. I put stuff down and I'm like, wait, it needs a custom design. I pick it back up put the custom design and then put it back down. So I just need to think like one step ahead. I just need to maybe just think in general would be great. <laughs> so there you go. You can see I put those planks there. I thought it would be really good. I think it really does help the like telescopes and stuff not really like blend in with the sand too much. It provides some nice contrast. So that's good. I also felt like the ground was looking kind of empty. I was like, mm, this is kind of lame and boring. So I thought um, a few items that we could step over would be nice. Like the little scattered papers. I don't know if you can step over the wires. I don't think so but i wanted to put those there like some more visual interest going on here some more clutter i needed something you know so we did that and i also had some extra rockets in the back i am so sorry if my lighting is changing my cat is playing in the curtain right now <laughs> but i just wanted to add like more height and like more stuff everywhere because i don't think a rocket launch area would be too crowded with things you know they probably want to leave space for the rockets but for my animal crossing island i need stuff to be everywhere okay I need it to be cluttered. I want it to be difficult to walk around. You know what I mean? So I, we kind of finished up there and then I just wanted to do a few finishing touches, like put an extra tree that I had down and some custom designs and stuff like that. And just kind of get the final vibe going and fill in these last couple spots. And uh, yeah, it was looking real good. So there's a few empty spots like right below me that you can see there. I don't really know what to do for those yet, but we'll figure it out eventually. But we've got the parking lot. We've got the little bare bones cafe. They don't even have chairs chairs over there. We've got the little exhibit right there roped off and then we've got the actual museum, the actual Kennedy Space Center in the flesh. This is pretty one-to-one -one with how it actually looks here in Florida so I think I did a pretty good job, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not really but I, I really like how it came out. It's really cute and it didn't feel like too much. Like I was doing too much with simple panels or the wide display shelves or anything and I think I'm satisfied with all the items on the side and yeah also our rocket launch area is really cute i hope that the the general vibe that it's a rocket launch area comes across i hope so and i think it'll look better once like the surrounding areas are also filled with stuff i think i think that will also make a difference you know so thank you so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing my struggle it really was a struggle on that stream so thank you for supporting me through it check out midas merge download it use my link if you want i really have been enjoying it so thank you so much subscribe if you haven't already like this video i would appreciate it. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.